All right, check this out. This is using the connect to find depth. And as you can see here, this is what it kind of looks like if uh, I have depth coming from the connect. Now, what this program does is it basically takes the depth returned in millimeters and then converts it to a color scale of what it's seen. Like, this is my room, for instance, or at least my family room. This is a couch. This is my table with my feet on it. This is my TV and another couch. Pretty interesting, huh? Now, a couple things to point out here. Because the Kinect uses like an infrared, a razor kind of, uh, in infrared laser kind of grid thing to define its depth, certain objects it won't really detect well. For instance, this is my TV and the TV uh, casing is pretty shiny so it doesn't really return anything and in fact this screen itself doesn't return anything because it just I don't know, uh, reflect reflectiveness of it or it absorbs it or something and beneath it you can see it's also pretty weirded out there that's a glass TV stand that it's on top of now the couch which is just plain couch is you know it looks very nice because it's just simply couch there's no reflectiveness on it now over there in the corner is a lampshade and the lampshade is made out of reflective glass too so that won't pick that up either but for everything else it's pretty pretty good at seeing things now here's me and I'm far too close and this is another good point to make you can see there in the lower right of my screen is my arm holding up the connect and that is too close so therefore it doesn't know what to do with it uh... the bright green is just also like an unknown too close kind of area because the minimum range for depth is like uh... four f four feet four feet and farther is like the the good range of now it knows the distance and i think it goes up to i don't know I'd say a good 20 or 30 feet there before it actually cuts off. You know, if I pull this forward as much as I can, it is plugged in. You know, there's my staircase upstairs and then the door to the kitchen. So that's pretty cool. So let me show you how to make this. It's really, really easy. Taking from the example of the how to connect to the connect uh, with color, it's pretty much the exact same thing, except a few key points have changed. The first thing is, uh, in the defining stuff here, we're going to be looking for a depth image frame instead of a color image frame. And I've just simply changed the name of the bitmap, resulting bitmap, to pick, pick depth instead. Now, going down here, all of the, uh, most of the load stuff is the same, with the exception of instead of color stream dot enable, we're doing depth stream dot enable. And it, in the uh, format of 640 by 40 by 30 frames per second. And like the handler of the color, uh, we're adding a handler for the depth frame being ready. And that gets handled right down here. When the depth frame is ready, we put the opened image frame into depth, which back up here is the depth image frame we just defined. So. In the program here, I gotta explain this real quick. I got a picture box at 640 by 480 and a timer. The timer is always considered true and ticks at 100 milliseconds a tick. So on the timer tick, it calls up the depth method, which is down here, and then puts the resultant pick depth image into the picture box. So now the depth method that I've made here is uh, again pulling from that fast. Uh, picture rendering tutorial did a while back where we take the we, we make a uh, an array of shorts now on the color we did an array of bytes this guy is an array of short and puts it into this array and then I'm defining the maximum distance uh, as 32,760 and I believe the connect actually returns millimeters so that's pretty cool uh, so if depth is not nothing, which it sometimes can be, then we want to copy the uh, pixels from depths into my array of shorts, my pixels here. Now, 
this stuff right here, the majority of that crap is from the fast picture rendering that uh, basically breaks down an image into its bytes for me to mess with. And I'll link a link, a link, link a link to that. This right here, this portion is really where I'm transferring the length into a color. And then the rest of this down here goes back to that um, fast pitch rendering. So the basics of this is um, my current current uh, pixel, if it does not equal negative 8, and negative 8 would be like uh, what the connect will return to you if the image is like uh, too close or unknown. If it's not negative 8, then we go ahead and do our thing. Uh, if it is, make it a zero, make it black. So the essentially part of this is this portion is grabbing the current depth of that current pixel. Mind you, this can probably be anywhere from 4,000 to 32,000. Uh, divided by pix max, which if you remember up here is 32,760. I just pulled that out because that I believe is the max number that this thing will return. And I times that by 255 to get a number 0 to 255. And then I invert the number by subtracting 255 minus that whole number. Now see if I take out 255 here and hit play again, then you can see it's all inverted. As in the farther away you go, the brighter the color versus the closer you go, the darker the color. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, too. But there you go. That is finding depth with the connect. Just as easy as finding color. So, yeah, have fun with that.